What's up, Go Ruck? Today we are going to work on some mobility in our hips and our quads. You'll just need a foam roller and then um, just like a little cushion or something to put under your knee uh, if you want. The first thing we're going to do is a hip opener called Pigeon. If this does not work for you, I'll give you an alternative. So I'm going to bring my right knee towards my right wrist and then lower my hips down and keeping them nice and even. I can stay on my hands here or fold forward onto my forearms. Sometimes people cue to kind of pull that right foot forward more. That's really not necessary unless you have very open hips. So we're just gonna hold this side. You can keep that foot tucked in. We're gonna hold it for about 45 seconds. While we're holding it, I'm gonna give an alternative. Uh, if this hurts, bothers your knee, you can also lay on your back and do a figure four on your back crossing that right ankle over the knee, and then reach and grab for that left thigh or shin and pulling the knee in gently. If you have trouble reaching the leg, you can move up to a wall, put your foot on the wall, and then just cross the ankle over, and maybe push away on the knee and just hold it there. So we're opening up that right hip. We're gonna be here for about 15 more seconds and then we'll switch over to the other side. So this is just opening up the outside of the hip, shouldn't have any pain in the knee. It's good to hold each side, depending on the time you have, 30 seconds to a minute. And this is great to do, switching sides, this is great to do on active recovery days or after a workout. So left knee towards that left wrist, kind of at the edge of your mat. Try to keep your hips centered so you don't want to fall over. You can also kind of prop yourself up. If you have that foot roller, you can kind of sit it under your hip to help prop you up if you need a little assistance there. Or you can come deeper by folding forward. If you took that figure four stretch, then you're going to lay on your back again. Cross the left ankle over the knee and then hug that leg in. and just breathe while you hold it. So it shouldn't be super painful. It should just be a good stretch. So if you're gritting your teeth, back off a little bit. And then release. And then we're gonna do a quad stretch. So you'll need a wall and maybe like I said, a cushion under your knee. So this is gonna look a little uh, different for everyone. It's called couch stretch. So you're gonna take your foot Put your knee kind of close to the wall and put the top of your foot on the wall. So the more open your quads are, the closer that knee can get to the wall. If your quads are really tight, move your knee away from the wall and then try, you can stay here or try to start to sit up, pressing your hips slightly forward and you'll feel that stretch down the quad. If your quads are very flexible, then you would scoot back knee towards the wall and then sit up tall. You can either bring, even bring your right foot forward and move all the way up here. You can also take the arms up. Those are all different variations. We're gonna hold here about 20 more seconds. Good, and then we're gonna switch sides. So carefully move out of that. Put your opposite knee, and both sides will be a little different, so you might have to play with where you place that knee. And again, your front foot can be flat, or if that's too much, you can keep that knee down here, or intensify it by coming all the way up. Hold here about 20 more seconds. you breathe. I know some of you it's very painful to stretch so that's why we skip out on it. We try to relax in it and breathe. Good. And then gently come out of that. So our next ones we're going to need a foam roller. We'll start with our hip first. So we're going to sit on the foam roller. If you have a shorter one that's absolutely fine. What I want you to do is just lean back 
cross your right ankle over your left knee, and then we're just gonna kind of rock over onto that right hip. And then you're gonna roll around. Just roll on the right hip only. This might be a little painful if you have really tight hips. You can also kind of lift that hand up, keeping one let, uh, just your right hand down. Just roll all edges of that hip out. About 10 more seconds here. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. So we're gonna cross that left ankle over the right knee, shift slightly over to that left hip, and roll around on the left side. About 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna get into the quad on our foam roller. So you're going to lay on your belly, come under the forearms, and that foam roller is gonna be right underneath your quads. I want you to be where you can roll all the way back towards the hips, and then roll all the way forward, right to the tops of the knees. So all the way back, all the way forward. To intensify this, you can cross one ankle over the other, so you have a little more pressure in the bottom leg. So we're just gonna do this for about a minute, um, rolling out both legs at the same time or intensifying by crossing one ankle over the other. Going all the way up towards the top of that quad, all the way down to right above the knee. You can kind of stay above the knee. A lot of times that's kind of the painful area or right in the middle of the quad, the meat of the quad. You can also play with bending your knees, kind of shifting the feet side to side. That really gets in there. About 20 more seconds. So there's a quick little series to help with the mobility in your hips and your quads. Try to do that maybe once or twice or even more a week if you have the time.